Hello friends, today we will see side to side VPN on checkpoint firewalls. Welcome to this video. As you can see on the screen, we'll be doing a VPN between CCP1 and CP2. These are basically two sites which has been managed by a security management server which is a checkpoint security management server which is located in data center which you can see and here you can see there is a management network of 192.168.85.0 slash 24 so cp1 will be having an ip of dot 10 cp2 dot 20 and sms will be having an ip of dot 30 which is connected to pnet 0 so we will have an access from this local host let's check this So seems that as we can see here the initial policy is in place as we have installed the Gaia on this firewall it won't allow us to ping. Let's try now. Here you can see we can get the ping reply. Similarly, AWS data will show us like which policy is currently present on this file. So initial policy is there which says the pin will not be allowed and we need to check connectivity first and for that we need the pin reply. JFW on load local will remove the policy from the firewall. So when we do yeah, start now, you can see there is a no policy present. So all the traffic will be permitted. As you can see here, the IP for each zero of CP2 will be 85.20. So let's try to pin that. Yes, we are good on this. Let's try the last one is dot 30. Okay, let me show you something here. Mm. Here you can see it gives us that localhost is not a firewall one module. This is because we have installed the firewall, the Gaia basically the security gateway on this CP1 and checkpoint 2 and this is purely a management server security management server which will be used to manage CP1 and CP2 so all the policies we can push from this SMS to this gateways so let's try to Here the username and password and the IP will be of this. We have checked the connectivity, we have the connectivity so we can access this now by using smart dashboard. If you guys don't have an access, you don't have the software of smart dashboard, you can simply go to the IP. Click to continue this website. Enter the credentials. Here on the top of this, you will see an option to download this dashboard, smart dashboard. Here you can see this. 
the moment you click here it will give you option to save this file you can anyway save this and install it you will get here okay so basically we have this uh, smart dashboard and we need to add this to fireworks here first so it already has connectivity right from this as they lies in the same network so let's try to add the firewalls just right click here you can see so in this case we are not adding a cluster we are adding a single firewall so it means we are adding a security gateway so there are two modes available here let's say wizard mode which says uh, firewall one or which has okay from here you can select which appliance is it so if it is a virtual one you can select the open server the IP address would be next it will ask for the seek seek is basically a secure internal communication and this will ask for the one time password so at the time of installation of this security gateway of Gaia it will ask you the OTP and you can anyways if you don't remember you you can go to CLI type CP config and you can reset it here you can see option number 5 if you click this it will allow you it will ask you to change the activation key so I already have set this so I'm not going to change this and I'm going to exit this so I know the activation key so I'll, I'll simply enter that it will take some moment okay so this is a good thing that you can see it fetched the topology and seek is successful you can see here the six is established Great. so let's try to add another one same wizard mode you can add a firewall which has platform of open server as we have deployed it in our EU you can have it in a U, EU or in UNL both are the same but use the latest one 25 to 20 next that the password next it will fetch the technology and the gateway will be added so as of now you can see that it has only one IP address so in order to do VPN we will be needing to set up the IP address for it it one that is Ethernet one so you have two options you can go by CLI or you can go by GUI both are ok let's let's try let me show you both way set interface with one ipv4 hyphen address on ipv one sixty eight ten dot one and mask level be let's say twenty four okay so what it's saying to us is as of now I have logged in by this so I acquired the log here so it will not allow me to change anything until and least I log acquire here okay so I'm doing log database all right it will allow me to do changes from CLI and I'm just copying and pasting the same thing so the IP address is set now we need to no shit this interface so state will be on and save configuration okay let's let's move to GUI and try to check whether the network interface is showing or not oh 
I'm on 30. Let me go to 68. Continue the website. Add name. Type the password. See here you can see the interface is up and you can see the IP address. So this is a good sign. So now we need to set the routing as well. Right? As when the traffic will be originated from this firewall. So you go to this router, this is basically a edge router for the site A. Similarly, on CP2, we will need default route pointing towards R5. Right? So let's do it. So here you can see configure static routes. I'm obtaining a lock here. So I'm just editing the default route. Here basically I need to add a gateway and the gateway here will be 192.168.10.4 as this is R4 I'm doing it 10.4 putting the IP of 10.4 and save similarly go to On the file, twenty five or twenty. Here we need to do two things. First is set the interface, either one, and then set the default route. So it can just click over here, say edit, first enable it, enabling from here is basically saying that state will be on so this command, either you can go here and enable it, either you can go to CLI and say the same thing, on that you do 168, say 20.1, 255.255.255.0. Okay, immediately the state will be changed to up. Then we need to configure default route, which is already there, but you need to mention the access interface or the next home. So basically, you can do anything depending on your demand. I will give it dot five because this is route five, so it's basically easy to remember. Okay, so, so we have a default routing in place. We have the IP address set over there. So you can fetch the policy. Here you can see the two interfaces are there now. Similarly, we can do this to another firewall. Now let's go to the routers. So let's move to R4. Sure, I can see. Let's 
see our food has been configured with 192.168.30.4 for 0, 0. sorry 10.4 for 0, 0.1 and 0, 0 is dot 4 as this same will be up here and we have a static route pointing towards this and this route has a static route pointing towards this so pretty same configuration for both of the routers so this is our initial setup for the basic connectivity so moving forward we will in the next video we will do the site to site VPN actual configuration of the site to site VPN we will be creating community we will be creating a rule and for the firewall 1 that belongs to site A and the firewall 2 which belongs to site B and we will be pushing policy to see whether the VPN comes up or not so we need to add the interesting traffic same what we can do in Cisco the concept is the same but the way of doing this is a little bit different so we have the basic reachability to this firewall so even in the real scenario we will need a reachability to the public IP so the public IP from one firewall to the other firewall must be reachable it means we must get the ping reply then we can do our side to side VPN so just stop for, for this video and we'll meet in the second video. Thanks.